So greetings, everyone. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we're just enjoying the aftermath, the afterglow of the regional meetups, which took place on the 19th of September, this past Sunday, which was uh, is still fresh on our minds. We had four uh, sessions throughout the day for what we call time zones, but actually it was many more time zones around the world in which uh, individuals came representing uh, many of the peace pop-ups that took place and have been taking place throughout this month in honor of International Day of Peace 2021. And uh, I think what I wanted to ask my colleagues, we were all working as facilitators, making it possible, uh, both the technical, but also the communication side of it. And here in the few hours afterwards, we want to talk to the audience around the world on Peace Day. Um, let's talk about it. And I'll, I'll start by going out to Jie about uh, your experience uh, facilitating a regional. Um, <clears throat> hello, everyone. My name is Jie Wu. Um, it was a great Honored to be one of the International Peace Day Youth Assembly Regional Meetup host. I was one of the co-hosts of Time Zone Number Two. So people under 25 make up 42% of the world's population. They are the engine of change. Empowering them and providing them with the right opportunities can create an endless array of possibilities. The Peace Day Youth Assembly offers such an opportunity for young people around the world, give their voices, make commitments, and take action. So in 21st century, our planet still faces plenty of challenges, such as poverty, disease, malnutrition, regional conflicts, sus sustainable agriculture, uh, pollution, uh, environment issue, et cetera. The mission to fix those problems is not easy. It requires multi-generations effort and the need to be passed down from one generation to another. So being part of the Youth Assembly gave me such an opportunity to listen to the intergenerational dialogues and witness that transmission. While I was hosting the meetup, I saw, I saw that is happening. Despite the language barriers, social anxiety some people may experience and the difference in time zones. I saw the young people, they are interested in hard work, they are ambitious, they are eager for progress and they are ready to change this world for the better. Seeing this makes me hopeful. Again, it was such a great pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, Chia, yeah. Uh, and I, a lot of what you say also uh, reminds me of my own experience uh, with the uh, regional session. Uh, Shweta is also with us. Shweta, you, you witnessed, I think, almost every session, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, your takeaways. Uh, the world. Yeah, <laughs> it's literally like going around the world in one day. So we went through, you know, we saw people joining in from, uh, you know, from Asia, starting with Asia and going all the way across to uh, Latin America and it's it's been yeah it, it, it's quite an amazing thing so last year when we did this we did this with the sort of uh, hundred uh, youth who showed up and we did a declaration uh, that ended up in in a declaration uh, that went to the UN but this year it was really about personal commitment so it was really about uh, actionable commitments that they are already doing and they are sort of bringing in through their pop-ups through their uh, you know, through their work that uh, is happening every day. And it's been so inspiring to just, you know, look at the actions that everyone's taking in their, uh, in their everyday lives and, and to experience that commitment and that, uh, you know, that energy that, that they bring. Uh, and I think that, was, that has been most inspiring for me to see how, uh, how focused and how committed uh, all of these people were to, uh, to the actions they were taking. Uh, and the other thing, if, if something stands out to me is, there was somebody in Romania who said, uh, you know, what, what are the privileges of being human? And that question has really stuck with me because we've, so, so long we've been talking about the rights uh, of being human, you know, what, what is my right? What is my personal right? 
Mm. Uh, to think of it, to think about privileges, to think about our responsibilities has really not had so much focus. But uh, yeah, it, it was really great to see that coming through almost in all of the sessions to think beyond humanity, uh, to think about how we can, you know, integrate all life. And that's such a natural, uh, I think that that's a very natural sort of feeling for, for uh, the people that were in the pop-up. So yeah, I'm also very hopeful. Yeah. And I'm yeah. hoping that we build on this. Great. Yeah, to build. Uh, and yeah, the natural feeling. I like that also. Thank you, Shweta. I want to give Rod the, the last word, perhaps, on, on this uh, little intervention. But so that means I'll also uh, jump in here so that I don't have the last word. Um, I had the pleasure of um, hosting the, the regional uh, that was first thing in the morning where I am, uh, but of course in, in Asia uh, later in the day. And what I noticed most, also making use of the tools that we did online, of course, uh, working collaboratively, was just these themes that I've I've certainly seen in, in my work, and I think many people have become very aware of the power that we have as we are today. Uh, in other words, uh, the people that you know, the like-minded individuals, or even people of perhaps not exactly the same mind, but doing work that they're passionate about and how much uh, when they connect, when they work together, when even they just share together, how much that multiplies their their capacity. So I, I saw a lot of references, and I know Rod, you'll take this probably further, to um, the capacity that you have when you find more like-minded partners, uh, friends, contacts, um, and uh, that's something that clearly people want more of as they look forward to the year and the years to come and the the ultimate mission of all of this when it comes to Peace Day. So I saw a lot of notes about the capacity and power that you have on a regional level, but also awareness of the connections around the world, no matter where you are, that the kind of work you're doing locally, there's someone else doing inspiring and related work somewhere else very locally, and that it is possible and even interesting to connect. Uh, and maybe that's not new, uh, but it is an interesting level of awareness uh, if you now are very in touch with that fact and then build on it, connect, show up, uh, um, look forward as we are to what happens after regionals and now after Peace Day. So on that note, uh, I will pass it to Rod uh, because I'm looking forward also to, to hearing from him. Uh, please, Rod, share with us. Thank you, Mark. Thank you all. Well, I had the great privilege of co-hosting yesterday the Americas uh, session. Um, and uh, in, in that session, we had change makers uh, from, from Mexico, Colombia, Jamaica, Canada. Um, and I was impressed to see the, um, the level of, of support, uh, especially uh, something that really touched my heart was the, the presence of the, the keynote listeners. Mm -hmm. uh, we had uh, contemporary indigenous leaders, futurists, uh, and people, you know, I'll just mention their names like Avon and Afta, Nina, their, uh, brother Phil. Uh, they came with such a level of humility and support and willing to synergize with the vision of the, the young people that shared their experiences. Um, definitely was also very touched by the level of uh, process standardization from the core team because you know we had the slides and we had uh, the the script and all was extremely structured and at the same time there was room to bring the heart and to bring that improvisation and a testimony of that interplay between discipline and standardization and just you know cultural flavors is the uh, incredible work of Laura who did uh, an incredible uh, graphic recording of our conversation. I'm sharing it because it was so inspiring. You can see uh, during the America session, there was a great focus on how can we actually participate in public policy formulation? How can we share our connection and resources? How, do we, how can we also bring you know, healing through community and dancing care? And a very important topic that was mentioned both by the young change makers and the keynote listeners was the indigenous leadership. You can see it uh, on the top of the drawing. The understanding that there's something about indigenous wisdom that 
is really relevant to reimagine the kind of solutions we need to face the current challenges. Um, and it was, I think, it was a great fun that uh, the word fun was part of the core question. So yes, how do we make this work for everybody within the limits of the planet and have fun while doing it? So that spirit was there. Um, and overall, I'm, I'm grateful for you know, all the organizers and the team for making this possible. And you know, connecting these local pop-ups, regional meetings, and now going forward to the global meeting. So all the best uh, in the upcoming dialogues. Yeah. And continuing to 2030. Sounds good to me. Thank you so much, everyone. And we'll see you all soon, I'm sure. <laughs>